about how you can still maximize profits from the planks and sole farming on APO yield for the last 10 days. We're moving to a new jewel farm in the middle of May, middle to the end of May, and um, this farm will be coming to an end. But at the moment, we are still seeing over 2.5% per day returns. So 10 days of over 2.5% per day will set you up nicely to have a nice stack ready for the new jewel farms that we're going to be opening with the new token nails. So without further ado, let me show you what I mean here on APO yields. If we come down to third party farms and vaults, you will see that we currently have, let's just refresh this so you get an accurate representation. Uh, it'll take a little moment for the farms figures to load in. But if we come down to the third party farms, you can see here that we have 2.52 daily percentage rate yeah over the space of a year it's over 1000 percent apr which is which is amazing and i've just today doing a tutorial um harvested for the first time was like nine hundred and fifty thousand or something like that and you can see that my stake is still ticking away nicely what we need to do now is we need to show you how you can still get liquidity to add to this pool. Some people are confused by it. So we'll go to, uh, if we stay on this page, in fact, we can just close that one and uh, we can just do it this way. So we can go up to swap. Yeah. And this will open up a pancake swap fork, right? So this is APO swap, but this is essentially just pancake swap, right? But with just different graphics, branding. What we need to do is we need to add some liquidity. The first thing we need to do to add liquidity is ensure that our MetaMask wallet is connected and ensure that our MetaMask wallet is also on the Binance Smart Chain Network. If we are confused, you need to watch my custom RPC edition video. So that will show you how to add a custom RPC. The Binance Smart Chain um, can be added that way. And then when you are running up on that, if you do not have a BNB balance to be buying the relevant tokens that you're going to need, you can hop across to Binance and you can buy some BNB. Buy some BNB and you can send it over to your MetaMask wallet by simply clicking that address and copying it. Coming to here, wallets, deposit and withdrawal. Go on to withdrawal and withdraw BNB on the BEP20 network, which is the Binance Smart Chain network, input that address and the amount you want to withdraw. And hey presto, when you've confirmed through your email or two-factor authentication, those funds will be whistling their way into your MetaMask wallet. When they arrive in your MetaMask wallet, you can come over to APO swap. You can use then the balance of the BNB here, and you can choose the token that you want to swap into. So you've got some BNB and you want to buy some Sol, you could simply put in there 0.1 and you would then be able to buy 459,293 um, Sol. What you must remember is Sol has a very large fee per transaction. It's around about 10% including the burn and everything that those guys do there on that platform. So we have to come here and we have to ensure we're on 11% slippage to be able to buy the soul. The soul will then be um, swapped into our wallet from our BNB. We'll lose the BNB and gain the soul and put that into our wallet. We also need to do the same with regard to getting our planks. As you can see, this is the planks token here. And you heard the woo-hoo and that it's made when I clicked onto the Planks token. That's exactly our sentiment Woohoo! when we think of Planks and the long-term future. And you can see that we could buy again a 0.1 stake in the Planks token. When we've got both of these tokens in our wallet, because remember farming requires 50% of both tokens paired together, we can move across from swap to liquidity. When we're uh, adding liquidity, okay, we have to hit this tab here, add liquidity, and then it'll ask us for the plus. Rather than from one to another, it'll ask us to add them together. So we can then go on to our soul and our planks. We can put our planks in the front again. Woohoo, hear it. Um, and we can come down onto the soul, yeah, so we can 
either type in so we haven't got any in because I'm giving you a demonstration I've already got some in my wallet and that will then show that you can see here we already have those tokens in our wallet right so I've got these LP tokens in my wallet ready to go because I've already swapped out in an earlier demonstration of this but well, that's how you would add them together you could put maximum planks maximum sole right either way around but remember if you haven't got the balance of one it will reject it you need to be having right enough of both so I would always suggest going slightly under right the um, the one with the uh, the lesser balance to make sure that you've got plenty rather than trying to uh, trying to get it through when one is when you populate one you see it will automatically populate the other field so if we this bottom one here if we put in a figure it will automatically populate that even whether you've got them in your balance or not so just be careful and mindful that you have enough balance of both before you go ahead and approve and then supply those LP tokens when both of those approve and supply transactions are done the LP tokens will show here in our wallet so they're actually in this wallet here and they are further down on our tokens all right so when we look at our assets and when we come down here they will be there so you'd be able to see them the LP tokens but we're not going to mess about with that today we can see that we've got some here already we're going to come back and we are going to click on to uh, the let's just delete that APO yield platform and we're going to come down to the third party farming and you can see here that there is a faint yeah a very light um, amount of LP tokens that we own yeah if we see that in the others there is none 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 but in this one we can see it being faint what we need to do there guys is we just need to click on to the hundred and we'll see it go bold there you go you see the color change it's gone bold so we've gone hundred percent of the LP tokens that we've just created we want to stake those in this sole pla uh, planks uh, farm for the last 10 days and we're just simply going to hit stake that's then going to ask us to confirm we are going to confirm and then this will stake and our stake will have grown yeah how much value that we have put in and we are off and running when that confirms and we will start getting the reward yeah of planks for that stake that we have in our LP this can go up and down yeah over the time according to the different token prices if the token prices drop this will drop if the token prices increase this will increase yeah we're not going to get into um, impermanent loss but what I'm saying to you is that you can get a reward if you so wish to use the Soul Planks um, LP tokens, you can get a reward in Planks, and it's going to be the last 10 days of you getting the amazing Planks token as a reward. So I would say to you, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate with Planks, because other than buying on the open market, uh, the only other way of you getting the Planks token is through holding it in your wallet. And the transactions that other people do will provide you with dividends. You can see that that's nicely growing as we've been talking. So, you know, what I'm saying to you there is true. We are running at over 2% based on your investment that you have, yeah, in the Soul Planks pair. Yeah, if you've got obviously, you know, £100, it's gonna be, or $100, it's gonna be $2.50 per day. That you are going to be getting with everything being even right with everything being even in terms of the uh, token prices maintaining um, stability right and the percentages and the TVL not going up okay so if the TVL goes up here then the APR on the daily basis will come down so we've been up to like uh, just under 1.5 percent per day when this was up at 80 something thousand so you can see that when the total volume in this farm goes up, the more people involved, the amount that you are receiving per day goes down. So this is a really cool time to be maximizing the last almost two weeks of this 
farm before we move into the next stage. And the next stage, you're going to need to be pairing planks again to be getting the reward in the nails token. So I hope that's been useful and it's explained how to do the LP. Nothing to do with pancake swap now because um, we are not using pancake swap moving forward. So you can remove your liquidity as well uh, in the, exactly the same process in a couple of weeks time. You can come up to the swap and when we go back onto the swap, you will see with liquidity, if we just go back, yeah, you can then import liquidity or it will show here in these little tabs and then you can remove your liquidity and that will then transfer 50% of your, well, 100%, but obviously both halves of your liquidity pool tokens as single assets back into your MetaMask wallet for you to do as you please. What we recommend is that you take the sole half and you will then use the sole half for BNB Pair that with your planks and once again begin to farm for the nails reward. Okay, I hope it's been useful. Have a great day and I'll catch you all soon.